East Coast Fever, or ECF, is a serious, often fatal disease of cattle that causes major economic losses across 11 countries in Eastern, Central and Southern Africa. Caused by single-celled parasite, the disease is transmitted by the brown ear tick, which is found in hay or standing grass. ECF is a significant constraint to livestock farmers. One animal is lost every 30 seconds from the disease and more than 25 million cattle are at risk. However, ECF can be prevented by using the Muguga cocktail vaccine, which is manufactured by the Center for Ticks and Tick-Borne Diseases in Malawi and distributed by local companies Ronhim and Pharmavax in Tanzania. To standardize training provided to ECF vaccinators, a new initiative has been launched by GovMed, an NGO that makes livestock vaccines accessible to smallholder farmers and its partners in Tanzania, including the Department of Veterinary Services. Standardized trainings enable the vaccinators to provide quality and consistent services to farmers across the country. Alice Mwile is the marketing business manager from Ronheim International, based in Dar es Salaam, which distributes the East Coast fever vaccine across the country. The company works directly with farmers and vaccinators. Alice explains why the standardized training curriculum and manual is so important. The manual and curriculum is very important because in the manual it gives you the step-by-steps from um, how to preserve the vaccine from reconstitution and until the vaccination process itself. So for example, the vaccine has to be used within uh, four hours. And so another person may overlook this and can use it for six hours. The manual stresses the importance. Uh, after reconstitution, the vaccine has to be used within a certain period of time. It's also for the pharmacy sake because uh, you have to take the temperature, you have to measure the weight in order to get the correct calculation of doses. So if this is overlooked, basically you're not going to vaccinate properly. So is it only the vaccinators that will benefit from this training? I asked Alice. The people who benefit from the training are the vaccinators. They'll be able to go out to the fields and collaborate with the farmers to get the farmers to realize and the importance of vaccinating. It's a two-way. The vaccinator gets a benefit. The farmer will also get a benefit. And in turn, the animal will also get a benefit because they'll be treated. The training initiative in Tanzania by Ronheim started in December 2015. I asked Alice how many current and new vaccinators have been trained so far under the new certification program. To date, uh, we have trained 200 plus vaccinators. Those are inclusive refreshers. When I say refreshers, those are vaccinators who have trained and come to other trainings. For example, Mr. Malia, he's been trained twice. Festo Malia is a veterinarian and ECF vaccinator with 10 years' experience in the field around Dar es Salaam and the coastal region. He successfully completed the ECF training conducted by Ronheim and has in fact, as Alice pointed out, been trained twice as he also received a refresher course and been issued with new certification credentials. This enables farmers to know that he is a genuine vaccinator. He tells me about his new experience and the changes after receiving his approved certificate. My name is Festo Lucas Malia. I appreciated a lot of changes because I added some experience and the how to handle vaccine because it's something which need added the uh, techniques in handling it. So by attending this uh, training, I gained a lot of uh, experience which I've been using in conducting the exercise of OSA vaccination. And also other practitioners have been learning from me and also farmers have been gaining a lot of advantages through this training because I've been convincing them to, to vaccinate their animals. So the number of farmers involved in this has increased. Before that, actually, I can say I was vaccinating not more than uh, one batch in three months. But currently, I can vaccinate two batches with eight cattle per month. Alex is a new vaccinator. He has recently attended the ECF training and he shares with us how the training is helping him to do his work. At first I just heard about it and I was not sure but now I've attended the ECF training so I know what to do and how to help the farmers. For the time being I am in progress of finding and educating farmers. I will be there to do it for them.
An important part of the training partnership between Ronheim and the vaccinators is the impact on the farmers and their livestock, as Alice explains. The main feedback is that they call the vaccinator, I have another herd of um, cows, please come and vaccinate them. That's a positive feedback because you're going back to the same farmer but with new uh, herd of animals. So that's positive, showing that the vaccine has worked and I want you to vaccinate more animals. Definitely um, farmers uh, are more comfortable because they know that um, they've got the backup from the government. It's like somebody's caring, you know, like this is a serious issue. So they're definitely more comfortable. That was Alice Mbwile ending that report on the importance of standardized ECF vaccination training for vaccinators in Tanzania, which impacts the livelihoods of our cattle farmers. Similar training for ECF is also being initiated by GovMed and its partners in Kenya. This feature was compiled by Chelo Matuzia with narration by Carlos Banda. It was produced by Ren Media on behalf of GovMed. GovMed is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the UK government. Mm -hmm.